Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Just explaining the code that goes into these algorithms, data structures, problem for people that don't understand them, or just explaining the problems in general. Please like and subscribe so the channel grows. Thank you very much. Um, this is a 1222 newer problem on lead code. Uh, queens that can attack the king. Uh, like in chess. Hopefully you guys have played chess before. This is a medium problem. On an 8x8 chess board, there can be multiple black queens and one white king. So multiple queens that can attack a king, right? The, the one board has a bunch of queens and the one just has a king left is what we're dealing with here. Um, given, an, given an array of integer coordinates for the queens, so we're given the coordinates of every queen that is left on the board uh, that represent the positions of black queens, and then we have also the coordinates of the king. So this is uh, the coordinates of all the queens. So it's going to be like a giant array, a 2D array, where each uh, subarray is a pair of coordinates for one particular queen, right? So this is a queen, this is a queen, this is a queen. We get the coordinates for every queen, right? So 0, 1 would look like this, 1, 0 would look like this, and then the rest of the queens, right? And then we also, the king is just a 1, uh, one array and just, you know, X and Y values for where the king is, right? So we know where the king is and we know where all the queens are on the chessboard. Um, so what we're trying to figure out is um, we want to return a list of a list of integer. We just want to return a list of the coordinates of the queens that can attack the king, right? So these three can attack the king. If you know anything about chess, uh, the queen can attack in any direction and it can go as far as it can on the chessboard, right? So this queen can go diagonally, this one can go up, this one can go left. The only thing is the queen can't just go through another queen to attack the king, right? This can't, and this isn't a perfect diagonal, like this can't just go, it can't just do that. It has to either be diagonal, up, right, left, down, any of the eight directions you can go in, uh, it can go one of those directions to, you know, stretch as far as the board to attack the king. Okay, uh, so how do we do this? My intuition for this problem was some kind of like DFS thing, the seems number of islands like where you start at this certain point where the king is and you expand in all possible directions, right? So you start here and then you start expanding uh, in those directions that the king, queen can attack from and look for the queen's coordinates and then put those onto the list and that's similar to what we're going to do here but the the thing here is we have to handle this case the only special case where the queen can't attack through other queens right so how are we going to do that we have to break basically while we're looking for the queens we basically have to break once we find a queen when we're expanding in these directions right uh, so to do that we're actually going to see, we're going to make a scene array. We're going to make a scene array, basically a clone of the board. And we're just going to loop through all the queen's coordinates and put in the scene array where we've seen a queen, right? Um, so let's just do that really quick. First thing we can actually do is just initialize our output. That's always what you should do in a question. If you have an output type, just set it up, right? Just get it done. That's an easy move forward in a problem. So just make it, I always call it result pretty much. Uh, it's an array list. There we go, boom, we got our result set up. So at the end, you know, return result, right? Of course. Now, first thing we're gonna do is like I said, make this scene array. So the scene array is going to be a Boolean array and it's going to be of size eight by eight because that's the size of the chessboard. And this is gonna be all the coordinates of the scenes um, of the queens, not the scenes, um, that you know are on the board. So there we go, it's an eight by eight array, same size as the chessboard. You can just loop through the queens using this uh, shorthand int array for int array queen in queens. So queen in queens, bad time typing right now. Then you can just do scene of queen of zero. This is the X coordinate of the queen, the the queen, current queen that we're looping through. So we're looping through each queen's coordinates, right? So we're seeing this queen, and then we put the X coordinate, and then the Y coordinate. This is basically the board. This is the eight by eight board, and then we're just using Booleans to say which position, which index indices we're, are gonna, they're gonna be true um, if we see a queen there, right? Okay, and this is gonna come in handy later. So there we go, we get the X and Y values of the queen. 
So we set it to true. Um, okay, great. So what do we do now? Basically, we're gonna have a directions array. So we're gonna just say, okay, directions is equal to negative one, zero, and one. And this is because in any certain direction, if you're going forward, if you're going diagonal, you can either go forward or backwards. If you're going up, down, left, right, diagonal, you know, whatever, you can only go forward or backwards. Um, so one is going, you know, forward in a direction, one, negative one's going backwards, zero is just going, you know, you're not moving anywhere, right? So we can loop through all, we can increment basically our X and Y's. You know, if, you're, if your king is here, right? you're gonna to wanna to increment your X and Y's in all directions, right? So we're gonna do all possible directions. So if we just loop through, um, you know, int DX in directions for int DY in directions, then th what this is, do is doing is it's looping through, um, you know, negative one, zero, one for all the X values. So it could either stay in the same X position. It can go negative one or it can go, it could go negative one or it could go positive one, but it's also looping through all the positive, the Y direction. So it could go, you know, negative, negative one and Y, it could go positive one or it could just stay in the same spot. And then we'll also do them simultaneously. So it covers the diagonals, right? It could go, you know, negative one X and negative, uh, negative one Y, or it could go negative one X and one Y. So go up and to the left, or it could go one X. And you know, this, this uh, double for loop will cover all possible directions, diagonal, 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 left, right, up, down. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. And basically within here, we're gonna get the uh, dimension, the, well, first of all, if it's if they're both equal to zero, we're not gonna do anything, so we'll just continue through the loop. So if dx is equal to zero and dy is equal to zero, then we will just uh, continue. Otherwise, we'll get the position of the king. So we'll say king is, uh, x value is equal to king of zero, and then king of y value is equal uh, king, the, the Y value of the King is equal to King of one, right? So that's just how it is. We have the X and Y of the King, right? That's what we get as the input. So three, three, it's going to be a three, three. Um, so we just get those X and Y values, right? And now we want to take those X and Y values. That's where we start our expansion from and start going in all of these direction combinations. We were just talking about looking for the queen. And, uh, to do that, we're just going to have a while loop where we expand our boundaries based on, um, so it's doing all these possible combinations, like I said, in those four loops. So now we're gonna do, okay, if x plus dx is uh, less than, or greater than or equal to zero, because that's the boundary of the indices, right? The first index you can go on is zero, and x plus dx is less than eight, because seven is the farthest you can go. So these are just boundary checks, and y plus dy, is greater than or equal to zero and y plus dy is less than eight then in this case we geez dude is uh y plus dy is less than eight in this case we can start expanding in that in those directions because we're not going to go out of bounds so boundary checks so you just do x plus you know this is what we check for x uh, plus equals dx um y plus equals dy and then down here we'll check the scene array for these coordinates because you're expanding you're changing the x and y's to find those uh you're you're looking in every direction to find if there's a queen around and if we do find a queen in those coordinates because we know where the queens are in our scene array that's why we filled it up so if scene x of y is true then down here what we'll do is we will do result dot add arrays dot as list of x and y basically what this does is it adds the coordinates of the queen that we found to our result because that's what we're looking for because it can attack right because it's in one of those directions one of those eight valid directions that we're expanding to we found a queen and now so that we don't find these extra queens in the same direction we will now break out of this loop 
and it will stop continuing in the same direction. So this is only going in one certain direction. Once we break, it'll not, it won't go in that direction anymore. So we will not continue searching in that direction. So we add the first queen we find in the direction, and then we break so that we don't keep going in that it, it, it handles that one weird case where there's already queens in the way. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then you can just return your result. That's pretty much it for this problem. It's a pretty elegant solution. Um, hopefully I explained it well. My main problem with these solutions right now is my typing speed. This keyboard, I need to get a new keyboard. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. I mean, what, do you, what do you, it's just expanding in a direction. You're looking for the queens. You're putting the coordinates in. This scene array tells us where they are. So it's just useful to clone it so we know the array coordinates of the queens so that this is like a nice little elegant loop through all directions. Um, like I said, you know, negative one, negative one, you, it goes through this uh, twice. You know, it does all the combinations of these three things. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You know, hopefully you understand. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Let me know if you have any other solutions down here, but I really like this solution. I tried to do it in a little bit different way than looping through these directions like this, but I think this is the best way. And I like this little scene array, so. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe. All right, I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.